plug in and in the words of St. Francis of Assisi, make them channels of your peace. <coughs> Mary, Queen of Priests, pray for them and obtain for us many and holy priests. Lord, hear us. Watch away for these, our brothers, that through their perpetual profession, they may grow in the love of Christ, for whose sake we have left everything in order to enrich others with Christian service. So Lord, we pray, Lord, hear us. We pray for their parents, their guardians, and all those people of goodwill, that they may continue to support them, and you, the good Lord, may grant them good health, mind and body. To the Lord we pray, Lord hear us. Lord gracious hear us. We turn to Mary our mother, the mother of Christ, the mother of the church, the mother of the seraphic order. She may continue to intercede for these our brothers and intercede for each one of us. As we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the with all religious everywhere, we make our prayers to you, confident that you will answer them. These prayers we make through Christ our Lord.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servants, O Lord, and confirm in your love those who profess the evangelical counsels through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the Virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by His way of life the surpassing wealth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast what is pleasing to you, and becoming obedient for our sake even unto death, he willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and a fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave all earthly things and promise they will find treasure in heaven. And so the number of elegant saints we sing the hymn of your praise as we love and we are praying. <coughs> Do this 
in memory of me.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We now pray for peace. For peace deep within our minds and our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins and our many failures, but on the faith of your change. Had graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. They will be priest. For those outside, don't come in. They will be priest. Thank you. 
join them in shaking. That is the Thanksgiving song we sang today. So those who are Chitengis, please come and tie them in the front. <laughs> Can you come for them, please?
It is a great honor to be here. On behalf of my brothers who have made the final hours today, we would like to express our thankfulness to the Almighty God for making this day possible and letting this event come to pass. We also express our thanks to all of our Capuchin brothers, friends, and family members who have been so supportive on our vocation journeys thus far. Standing in front of you, we would also like to thank the Coastos, Brother Augustine, and his council for approving our profession and allowing us to commit ourselves for life to God and the Capuchin Franciscan Order. We also would like to thank our formators who have accompanied us through the years of initial formation to date. We also thank our parents who freely surrendered us to God and the Capuchin Order so that we could be instruments of God's peace. Today is a turning point in each of our lives. We have spent years of undergoing the halls of this great school called Religious Life. And now we are ready to go on as brothers in the order of the Capuchin Friars Minor. We have learned, we have loved, we have loved. We have faced challenges and most of all matured together. But today doesn't just concern reminiscing about the past, it's also about looking forward to, into our future. Life is a series of passageways and we are living one and moving to the next. As we continue living this life as Capuchin Friars, we will meet new challenges and learn new things that will strengthen us. We will grow older, more responsible and more mature as humans, Christians and as religious. Here after our lives will hold many surprises for us, but I'm sure that we will approach life with the same attitude that we have undertaken. That and is and also of your family in the Kamangas. At one point when I